Oh, check this out. I boot up. Look at that. CPU fan failure. Okay, I did this one time before uh, with uh, actually that XPS one that's over there. Uh, somebody gave it to me after uh, the screen doesn't come on. So uh, what you want to do to get inside this to the fans and everything uh, uh, you're going to take out a screw there and you're going to take out a screw on this side over here. Make sure when you put your uh, all-in-one down on a surface that there's nothing underneath is flat on the surface and nothing's actually touching the uh, the, the video the uh, display itself. With the uh, screws out you're going to come up and uh, I got to lean pretty far forward. You, it really is better to have one hand on both sides. I'm grabbing right in the middle and pushing down up here and pulling up and you can see that it's opening up here and you just break, pick this thing up with one hand it's kind of tough to do <laughs> so uh, trust me with two hands you can get it up all right so there it is uh, there's the two fans in there we're going to go outside and actually blow out all the dust uh, the whole thing inside here is pretty dusty so uh, let's go do that okay I'm using a uh, compressor to actually blow this out now I know that you're supposed to put a screwdriver or something in there to stop the blades from moving around. If you could do that, try doing that. Alright, uh, I'm not too worried about these because they're very modern and they can tolerate that. What happens is it takes all the dust and blows it up. So I'm going to blow down. Try to get the dust out. That one's not even moving. That one should be spinning when I do this, and it's not spinning. So when I test this out, I want to make sure that fan's actually working. So I'm going to do that because I never witnessed that fan or the fans working with the the back off. So I think when I start this up, I'm going to do that. There's some more there. Get as dust out as you can. Get as much of the dust out as you can. Kind of blow up. You'll see the dust coming out. So that's a much, much cleaner computer. Okay, and I took one, uh, one take of my compressor to actually do that. And so it'll probably take about four or five of the spray cans uh, that you get at, uh, at Radio Shack or someplace. All right, so uh, now it's clean, but I want to test that one fan out because one of the problems uh, the customer said with this is that it was, the fan was running forever. And when I opened this up, that thing was so hot it, it, where the hard drive attached to was just unreal. I mean, really, really hot. It shouldn't be that hot at all. Okay, so let's go back in and uh, spin it up, take a look at the fan, make sure it's, uh, it's working. Hey, who knows? I might have to show you how to change out a fan, too. All right, here we are in the shop. Um, I have power in, but nothing else. And all it is is a bare-bone hard drive in there, not... Uh, no operating system installed, so I'm going to just turn this on. I'm not worried about uh, anything because as far as software, and I can turn it right down, but the main thing is that um, actually running. So I have power on, that guy's spinning, and that guy's spinning. Okay, got the tones of booting up, I'm booting up so... Uh, now I'm going to let this run a while because uh, one of the problems on this is it was heating up. When you touch this, when you touch this uh, metal right here, oh my goodness, it just heated up. But maybe blowing out all the dust just solved all the problems. So really, but that fan is definitely spinning in there. So it's, it's so much cleaner. No dust popped out of it, blew out of it when I started up, and that's good. So this guy right here, there's a warning there saying, "Do not touch." burns hands. Hot surface. <laughs> Not particularly in that order. <laughs> so uh, we'll see what this ha what happens when the cover's on the back of this. I'm going to let it run for a while to just see how much this actually warms up. Now something I need to show you before you put this cover back on on the computer. Uh, this is probably the better angle to see them. Uh, there's a little area right here. You can see it, my finger underneath it. It's a hook. There's one on both sides. Uh, we need to get those hooks lined up. I want to show you where I'm going to line those up at. Okay, they go right in here on both sides. 
Okay, so so uh, that's what we need to do to line them up. You don't have to put it up too high. Set it down and slide it in. It's very easy to do. So uh, here I go. Now this is way too high. So if you're in doing this, it's not going to work out. So I'm going to do this with one hand while I hold the ca uh, camera and I'm going to show you just how easy it is to do. So that's uh, down all the way and uh, just slide it in. If it doesn't slide in, you need to take it out and uh, hook it up. Now that's pretty flush over there. That's pretty flush. This side, with one hand I did it. You pull up on the top on both sides, make sure it, uh, there's two um, plastic or I don't know if they're metal or plastic pins that go in up there and now all you do is put your screws back in. Well you get to see me in my wheelchair so not too many people out there can see that. So I'm going to hit the power button on the side. Got the blue lights on that side. We'll get the tones. Those are the tones uh, of uh, the Dell uh, Dell 1 saying that everything's good and went straight to starting windows. So we didn't get a uh, cooling fan failure, which is really nice. All right, and hey, listen and feel up there. Nice and not that very cold, but you know, it's it's warm and you got to expect it to be warm because that video card is putting some heat off and uh, also there's that uh, processor. So that's uh, that's really good. Okay, so uh, uh, no real loud fans neither, so it's uh, it's really good. So and here comes Windows 7. So hopefully you like the video. Uh, subscribe and see a lot more. Bye now.